new video for you. Today, we're going to talk about shot timers. So we're going to talk about what they do. We're going to talk about all the common features that you'll see on most of them. Then we're going to go ahead and compare four different types. So why do we use a shot timer? Well, you got to collect data, right? Just like someone goes to the gym, they record their workouts, right? They record it down. So they're always know they're pushing themselves and all that good stuff. So the shot timer, it's pretty hard to guess, you know, how fast you shot something, whether it's your draw, your split times or your transitions or whatever it may be. But when we collect that data, we're really going to see where we're messing up. We can isolate things. And what we're looking for is small incremental growth. So a lot of people will be like, oh, they want to go from a two second draw to like a 1.2 or a sub second. They try and get all that in a day. Well, that's kind of a fixed mindset, right? And we know that we got to be a little bit more growth oriented, right? So we need to see slow progression over time, more of a linear progression. What we're looking for is five to 10 percent, right? Those are good goals to set. And we can do that if we're tracking our times. And we do that, well, simply with a shot timer. So on top of that, we also use shot timers because it's an easy way to kind of add a little bit of stress, right? And you'd be surprised how many people lose their mind. They can shoot, they do good. Then we go, hey man, I'll just go on the beat. And you put it on, you say, stand by, beat, and everything falls apart, right? So we like the shot timer also for that reason. But mainly it's to collect data, it's to see progression, it's to see growth, and it's going to be a good range tool, something you can take the range every time and also use in dry fire to see that linear progression, right? Or just continued progress and track that. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the common features you're going to see amongst all of them. So the first thing, you hit a shot timer, it's got a beep, right? So you can set that to instant. So as soon as you hit the button, the beep goes off. And that's great for when you're timing somebody else. Or you can set a delay. And delay just means you hit the beep and then there's a countdown, right? So some of the shot timers, you can actually control that delay at exactly what you want. Or you can set a range. And then other ones, you sit, you hit delay and you have between a two and a three and a half second window like the pack timer. So other things you got, you have par times, right? So what is a par time? That means once the beep goes off, it will set a certain amount of time and then a second beep will go off. So you have to perform whatever action is great for dry fire, great for lots of stuff, but you got to perform that action within that amount of time. And then some of the other ones, you can set multiple ones, right? Uh, part times, uh, another thing is sensitivity, right? Sensitivity is a big one. So what is that? Well, it's just how sensitive the uh, sound recognition or whatever that you know registers your sound and your shots is. So if I'm on the range by myself, I'll probably set a little bit higher. When we're in class working, I might run two shot timers on opposite uh, sides of the range. So one side will turn their sensitivity down real low, which means they need to be closer to the actual gun going off. Now, if I set it higher, now you can use it with suppressors. You gotta be pretty close, you know, right off the uh, ejection port on a rifle or something like that, but it'll pretty much pick it up if you set the sensitivity a lot higher. And that's all we're really doing with that. So the features you're gonna see are probably gonna happen amongst all of them, right? But now we need to get into the different features, which is gonna, what's gonna separate these, right? So let's go ahead and look at that. First up, we're gonna look at our competition electronics one, right? So this is probably the most common one you'll see, okay? So I've started off on the left here because this is the one you see the most. So generationally, if you look at that, kind of the older guys use this one, and you kind of see as younger crew shooters come around, they use the packed. So the CE one, the Pocket Pro 2, it's pretty simple, right? On button right here. And then as you look, these two buttons right here, they cycle through your menu, right? Shot time, splits. You can set your part time, del random or delay, right? And if you want to change that, all you do is hit these two buttons. Push that button up, it goes to instant. Go back to random. I can look at my random start times. There's a minimum. I can adjust that down, can adjust that up, or I can go up here. If I keep it the same, it'll always be two seconds. If I increase that, now it'll be within that window of two and three. Then you got other stuff in here, battery, a lot of stuff that I never use. Other, you know, shot dead time default, and there's our sensitivity and you can change that. Quick thing I'll tell you on this one, once you go to that main menu, right? Right here, if I wanna check my splits, all you gotta do is tap the selector arrows, or I just tap up once. If I wanna go to my uh, instant or delay one, two, three can change that. And the other one I use is when we use the sensitivity, right? We're going to change that. I just go down six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can change that sensitivity, go back up to six if I want, and we're good to go. But from any of these menus, you can simply and put it on instant so you guys can hear it, hit the button on the side and that sucker is going to go off. Once it registers sound, picks them all up, then you can simply check your splits and it reads out right there. 
overall time, shot number, and split time between. You can see the first time I tapped it was 3.1 seconds and we cycled through and see them all. That's pretty much it for this. It's a pretty simple one to use. It's uh, pretty common. It comes out about around, I think it's like 140 to $150. I'm looking off to my right because I wrote it down so I can remember. So it's about that much over there, written right there. 140 to 150 bucks, depending on how much, you know, or which site you're shopping off of. Now the downsides for this. I've got six of these, two of them work. So if you guys notice, these are the two that work. Also comes in gray. And then we've got some other ones over here that are all broken, right? So all these guys here are actually broke, okay? So what they'll do is if you break your timer, you can send these back in. And I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks. They'll refurbish it and they'll send it back to you. I never did that because by the time I realized it was broken, I had to leave again. So I just ordered another one and I got lazy. I should probably send all these back in and have them fix them. It's a good shot timer. Why do these break? Because if it th this thing gets wet at all, it's going to go bad. Okay. And it might dry out over time and kind of work again. But it, man, if anything just starts to sprinkle, these things quit working for me. Maybe for other people, they've had better luck, but I haven't. Also on the battery thing back here. Well, that one's actually ripped out and doesn't have it, but you can see on the battery thing, these connectors for the nine volt, they tend to just be careful with them, right? Sometimes those connections can come loose. That happened on one of them, I believe, but I just, they're not the sturdiest thing out there. And I'm sure people say, well, I've used mine for so long and it's held up great. Awesome. Well, not for me. I've got four that are broke and I got two that work. I actually thought one of these was broken, tried multiple batteries and a couple months later, now it just magically worked today. So I don't know. But overall, it's a good timer for the price of money, for the money. It tells time or it tracks your shots and your data and everything you need. But at the end of the day, it's really just not the most durable. So understanding that gray or blue, right? Next one we're gonna go to, and that's gonna be our packed club timer, okay? So this is the one we see a lot. And I honestly, like a lot of the, I'd say younger or newer shooters, but it's kind of that generational thing. Like a lot of the guys see now, like Lucas from T-Rex Arms, he's big on this. I believe he sells it on his website. So he uses this one. It's a great timer. I never really got into it, mainly because I finally learned how to use the menus on the other one. And I never wanted to figure this out and it was confusing, but it's super simple. So turning it on, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and tap go. You can see that it counts down. Now this is the timer that does not, you're not able to set the actual delay. And if you can, I couldn't figure it out and we just Googled it and looked up their manuals and everything else. So with this one, when you set it to delay and how you do that is I'm gonna hold these two buttons down right here, the arrows, you get instant and delay flashes. If I hit the down arrow, it goes to instant. Then I can turn it on and hit the buzzer. Hold these two arrows down and hit the up arrow, the top one, it'll go to delay. And all I have to do is hit review I can set a part time if I want, but we don't want to do that. And now it's on delay. So with this one, you have between a two second and a three and a half second delay. It's randomized in there every time. So at that, you can see it counted down from about 2.6 or something like that. And then it goes off. Okay. Same thing. Registers your shot. And if you want to review it and see what you did, you simply just hit review and you can cycle through the numbers with each one that it did. Pretty simple shot timer, right? So I had a, one of these a long time ago. Someone gave me and it broke, but it was a really old one. I don't know. Um, these seem to hold up fairly decently compared to a lot of other ones. You see these a lot at the range. Good shot timer, everything else, battery compartments on the back. And yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple, right? So looking at that, now we're gonna get into our last two shot timers. We're gonna get into the AMG Commander and the Shooters Global. So let's talk about the AMG Commander first. So this is a really cool shot timer. I like this one a lot. It's a made in America by a guy, I don't know if it's Indiana or Illinois, I can't remember, but it's AMG Commander is the name of it. So you can go to his website, he hand makes these. He hand makes all of them. I think he loads them up, does it all, um, and it works really well. This one, he does not claim it's waterproof, but I saw a video where he actually took this and threw it in a tub of water, pulled it out and it worked. I was like, oh, okay. That's actually the reason I bought it. And there's another one, he threw it high in the air and it smacked off the ground and it still worked. This little thing doesn't come with it. It's like some 3D printed like swivel mount that I found, but whatever. So the way this one works, your button is actually on the top and you cycle through here. So if I hit power and turn it on, there it is. All right, I got a low battery. So 
power button, go button, right? That's what you hit to start the timer. Menu, and then your selector arrows. So if I wanted to change something in here, right? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold menu. And we're gonna go down and see P1, P2, P3. So P1, I have a preset and it's set up for instant, right? Go down to, excuse me, cycle through. Go down here to P2 and I'm gonna go ahead and select that just so we can see it. You can see your sensitivity that we can change there. Turn that up for dry fire. You can see it's on delay, everything else, start type, all that. I'm gonna go ahead and cycle through. Now we can set multiple par times. So this works great for dry fire. Say you're practicing an El Prez and you wanna have your draw in a certain amount of time and first in your gun on target, sights on target that first shot. Say you set it for one second or 1.2 in your dry fire. Then you can set your second par time for by the time you should have your reload completed. And then your third part time by the time you should be done on the last target. And then you can use that to push yourself and push your training. So oh, echo de delay. So that's to pick up ambient sounds, indoor ranges and stuff like that, I believe. Uh, beep volume. Yeah, let's see if we do it. And then back to the start, right? So one thing you'll notice when you hit go, there's our delay. Right, so we got seven things, right? Seven shots or whatever. Go to menu and it's gonna show you first shot was that, second shot was that, third shot was that. You can cycle through all the way through. Now we do it again. Now what I, you can actually compare the first time you did it versus the second time. So it'll, it'll store your last three runs. And it'll keep it all in there for you. So. You can do that and kind of compare the two runs before it if you want and cycle through and see all that. So that's really good when you're doing different drills. Like that one felt better. Well, why? You can go back and have that immediate data, right? And look at it and compare and see where you kind of slipped up. But overall, that's pretty much it. It's a good shot timer. Uh, I like it a lot, especially when you change the batteries. That's always a good thing. But let's first time change the batteries. I've had it for a while. So good on that. Just hold the button down turns it off, which is kind of one of the things the other two timers don't have. They don't turn off. You just you know, they turn off by themselves. Put it back in here. I can't remember where I got this thing, but it's a little mount so you can flip it up and look at it. You can turn it around or whatever. So that's that. Now let's talk about the Shooter's Global Shot Timer. So we like this one a lot. It's got a lot of features and it's got a lot of stuff going on. But first thing you'll see that when you turn it on, this is the menu you're gonna come to. You're on Shoot Practice, you can go to Start. So I'm just gonna hit Shoot Practice so you can see the different stuff you got in here. Shoot practice, dry practice, history, stats, settings, and you can power it off. So let's just talk about shoot real quick. For those other ones, we like to do that kind of in the app. So if I go down here, let's check our settings real quick. Delays on two seconds. That's the handgun it's selected for. There's a sensor set up, time limits, shots, so on and so forth. So looking at this, I've noticed the beep seems a little bit louder than the others. So let's check this out. Good. Cool. So you can see the shots that we got going on. All I'm going to do is hit that down arrow. Now you can see your splits. Shot one was in here, so on and so forth. And I'll tell you the split time between and the overall time in the middle. And go to back, change all that. And if you want to put it on delay, simply go to settings or put on instant, go to delay and just move this down. Put it on instant. Head back up, go to start. And there you are, right? So this is a really good shot timer. We've noticed that this thing seems pretty rugged. It holds together pretty well, and it's pretty water resistant. Uh, I've gotten this thing wet, haven't had any issues. I don't think you can throw it in water per se. They can't call it waterproof, but I believe this thing holds up really well in the rain. Haven't had any issues with it so far. It's pretty rugged, it's pretty durable. And on top of that, it's got a magnetic part here, right? So this is the clip that goes on you. That clicks on right there. And then on top of it, this does not require batteries it has a charging port. So this is rechargeable. So I was a little worried about that being how long is it going to take that battery to run out? We did uh, two classes using this multiple times throughout the day, being on on me all day, using it as a buzzer, a uh, couple training after that, a couple times going to the range. And that's as far as that battery has gone down. So I think this thing holds a charge for quite a while. And I've heard that from other people too. So what makes this shot timer? Why do we like it so much? And why is it so cool? Well, the biggest part about it is the app. 
So when we look at our phone here, went ahead and pulled up the app. You can see that you've got multiple things on here, right? So we've got our 3D stage builder, dry practice, stage library, and start shooting. So if I go to dry practice, here's some of the stuff that I've set up, right? So four and a half second par times, different draw stuff, two R2, whatever, right? It's all just a time. But if I wanted to go here and do one second draw, I can set select that. I can set how many reps I want to use. Let's say four or five reps. Right, classic or smart. You can actually record a video with it too. But if I hit start, ready. Ready. It's kind of a cool feature. So using this for dry fire is one of the things that I found most beneficial because it helps me organize dry fire and then I can set up multiple reps. Instead of just kind of blindly going through it, which there's a time and a place for that, you know, kind of exploring it and playing with it. Now I can structure things a little bit better, which is what we like to do. The other feature with this is you can actually set this up to Bluetooth the shot timer to your phone. And as you record your shooting, it will put the shot times up on the screen. We haven't done it yet, but I've seen it on their website. They can, you can look at it on there, it's pretty neat. On top of that, you can build shooting stage. And you can go in here and click it and drop little targets around and set how many times you wanna shoot it and so on and so forth and draw lines and put drills in here, then you can shoot them. You can actually take your phone, walk up to the target, and as it, you see it, it will log the hits that you got. Then you can take that and upload it to their community feed where you can see people are shooting drills and do challenges and all this other kind of stuff. So maybe we'll get into that sometime. We'll set up bear challenges and some of the drills and everything and put them on here. But it's really neat. I like this thing a lot. Um, I haven't even gotten into all the stuff this thing does. It's probably too much for me, but if anything, that dry practice is probably the most beneficial thing I've found. On top of that, it's about $200, right? So look at the prices of these. So we know that this shot timer here with the Shooters Global is about 200 bucks. The AMG Commander, that's 158. The pack timer is a little bit on the cheaper end. It's anywhere from like 120 to 140, depending on what site's selling it. And then the Competition Electronics Pocket Pro, that's about 100 and what was it, 140 to 150 dollars, depending on where you buy it. So you have a, a selection here. They all work. They all record your times. They all do that, right? It's just really depending on how much money do you want to spend, and then what features are you looking for. The only one that these two kind of set themselves apart because they do a little bit more, especially with the par times and the multiple par times for dry fire and the presets. And this one even goes beyond that and has the app and all that stuff with it where you can do that. I think this one is probably your best for dry fire, right? These two, mainly this one for setting up and organizing dry fire. Uh, and then the community aspect and the ruggedness. This one's probably equally as rugged. It's a really cool shot timer. It's got a lot of settings and it's just not quite as much as this. And then over here, they're kind of similar, right? Probably the same durability. Um, it's just the menus and the interfaces are slightly different, but they all work, man. They all work. It's just really which one you like. We like shot timers. We use them a lot. We use them in class. We use them every time we go to the range. And if you're not using a shot timer, you might not be getting as good as you could, right? So get out there, check them out. Um, yeah, they're available pretty much everywhere. Hi audience, we're gonna talk about shot timers.